Hey, I'm Guy Cimbalo of Uncubed, and today we are talking with John Schuster and Nate McDonald, the co-founders of Tank the Labs, uh, and they've graciously come by the offices to show off their first product, Circuit Cubes. Thanks for coming by, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Now, before we start playing with these wonderful toys, I'd love it if you could tell me a little bit about Tank the Labs itself. So John and I were educators, and I was in the classroom for 15 years as a math and science and engineering teacher. About a year and a half ago, John and I got an idea of creating a fun toy that was also in the process teaching kids basic circuitry. And so we started out with this <laughs> large block. And it's a common way that teachers teach uh, circuitry with alligator clips connecting to you know, two screws in a block. And we kind of modified that idea so that it would integrate with uh, Legos. The circuit cubes are electronic building blocks. Um, and we designed them based on our inspiration from working with other kids and trying to get their head into the parts and pieces that like make up a circuit. So we still held on to the concept of, hey, there's still two connectors and then there's a, a device or component that actually completes that circuit. But we needed it to be really fun and playful. So the quick, the quick concept of showing you what they are is I have a, a motor cube and a battery, so basically I've closed the circuit. Mm -hmm. So that's, we're trying to bring out the fun. Are we building a circuit? Yes, but I'm having fun. That's way more important for us to get them enticed into it. So that's where we get into, you're gonna we'll go on a project, you're gonna make an adventure. So we're not saying, hey, let's learn circuits. We're gonna actually say, hey, we're gonna go on an adventure. So I want you to build a vehicle, grab some pieces from the bin, and I want you to use a motor, light, and a battery. Um, and with those three things and a few wires, we can actually make a, uh, a cool vehicle. Now, is that the vehicle six different kids are gonna make? No, mm -hmm. there's gonna be six different ones, and that's the awesome uh, part of it. Sorry, uh, go ahead. Yeah, Nate. no, yeah. And, and then during the holidays, my seven-year-old was like, hey, Dad, can I start you know, stacking Legos on here? <laughs> yeah. So they integrate perfectly, and before he knew, I knew it, he had this massive contraption with more motors and you know, a spinning weapon <laughs> and minifigures piled yeah. on. And I see definite weaponry potential for a lot of this, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, how many kits do you anticipate that you're going to uh, launch with? So first launch is uh, three themed kits. There's Wacky Wheels, Bright Lights, and Smart Art. So that would be an example of the Bright Lights. Uh, this is an example of the uh, Smart Art. So, so you can put out a piece of paper and make oh, a spiral graph. Oh, you could graph. actually draw on it. Like, yeah, it's like a spiral yeah. graph kind of uh, automated. Right. Without the carpal tunnel syndrome. And there's like a bunch <laughs> of different variations of that. Um, one of the other cool things uh, on the lighthouse actually features. So in bright lights, you'll also be able to make something like this. So you say, well, what is that? Well, that's a uh, taking a couple Lego pieces and three mm -hmm. components. And what I'm doing is I, I want to make a lighthouse. So the the directive was, or the project was, uh, hey, let's make a, a cool lighthouse with the light flashing around. Yeah, it's like a kiddie disco, though. Yeah, yeah but the really tricky thing is, if I did this in what I would call parallel, which again is a little advanced, but mm -hmm. you teach them about these things, the motor um, would spin too fast. So it would go too fast, and I couldn't actually do it. Oops, sorry. So the motor, let's go. That's going to spin way too fast, and it will look like a police light. Maybe you yeah. want that. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, we use the concept of a parallel series. So I have the power coming out of the battery, into the light, through the light, out of the light, through the wire, into the motor, and that completes the oh, circuit. Yeah, so that's why it's allowed to slow down the motor and a little less luminance, uh, lumens on the light to yeah. make it. I have my eye on that ad at kind of uh, walker over yeah. there. It's a based off a of design from Yoshihito Uzagawa. He writes books uh, that are reference about taking Lego and making mechanical cool functions. Oh. So that's an idea based on uh, his concept. So if you were to look at the bottom, besides it being awesomely cool, there's some actually complex gearing going on under the bottom. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, it has almost the feel of a kind of Swiss watch. Yeah, so obviously there's some major cool mathematics going on here. Uh, the peanut butter <laughs> yeah, mixer. Yes, this <laughs> so that's basically the car uh, uh, turned upside okay, down sure. with yes. an extra little plate, and then it's. Uh... Oh wow! So okay. there's... and then my seven-year-old was like, "Hey, <laughs> yeah. Dad, can I make a rock tumbler?" And so we threw uh, some rocks in a jar and sure. started tumbling them. That is that's. There's a variant yeah. of that where you put a little arm in, and then you actually have poke holes in your aluminum can or metal can, mm -hmm. and then the light shines through, and then it has this cool little star yeah, spectrum cool. on the inside. Yeah, you could almost kind of create a zoetrope thing going on. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> thank you. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, no. And a then, doll. Uh, 
uh, a girl <laughs> designed this. Did you just say, and yeah, this is going to haunt me. I think we kind of know that kind of beheaded yeah, the creepy rabbit. rabbit. Yeah, yeah the head, uh, you know, after demos, it kind of has fallen <laughs> no, off. I, I but, understand, but still, <laughs> but I, I, I inside, will be haunted by this. Inside, it's just two Lego bricks and two circuit cubes. Yeah, and, and yes, you've, you've, you've gutted it. <laughs> you've yeah, gutted. and so the amazing thing is that the circuit cubes disappear, and it becomes what you can make with it. Yeah. We don't want it to be about, you know, our product. We want it to be what can you make with it. Wow, this is very cool, guys. Now, I know it's available for pre-order, and tell me when do you expect it to start shipping out? Yeah, so uh, February 7th, you can start making reservations mm -hmm. on our website, and then um, shortly after that, you'll be able to place a pre-order. Fantastic, and each set costs about how much? Uh, 59 dollars 59 dollars each, yep. fantastic. John, Nate, thank you so much for yeah. talking yeah. with us. Yeah, yeah thanks thank for coming you. by. Thank you so thank much. You so and uh, we'll provide more information right below this video. Thanks, everybody.